Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Up next in our Star of the Month salute to Norma Shear, we have another pre-code film. And in this one, she really ramps up the sex appeal. Our film is The Divorcee, and it's a movie that earned Norma the Oscar as the year's best actress. And you know, many people today kind of take shots at Norma Shear, saying the main reason she became a star is because she was married to the MGM boss Irving Thalberg. And it's undoubtedly true that Norma was given particular attention at MGM because Thalberg was looking out for her best interests. But I have to tell you, one doesn't become as popular a movie star as Norma Shear was by force. I mean, no way. The Hollywood history books are full of names of actors and actresses that various studios tried to force onto the public and couldn't. Audiences, particularly in the late 20s and throughout the 30s, they loved Norma Shear and they paid to see her for years. Well, Norma was at the peak of her popularity when she made this next movie, The Divorcee. It's actually a film her husband didn't want her to do. Not the kind of story, he said, that fit the ladylike image MGM had carefully nurtured for her. But to prove she could do it convincingly, Norma went to photographer George Harrell and posed for a great many photographs in flimsy gowns and negligees, changing her hairstyle or makeup and her attitude. Well, it's not on record what Thalberg said when he saw the photos, but it did convince him that she could do the film. And out of that came a new image for her and an Oscar. From 1930, co-starring Robert Montgomery, Chester Morris, and Conrad Nagel. Movie directed by Robert Z. Leonard. Here's Norma Shear in The Divorcee. <laughs> 